year from Chase Elliott to Eric Amarola. Kyle Larson goes up to block it, but he just can't sustain it. They're not up to speed. The cars aren't uh, set in the rear, and it just huge spin, as you can tell. Looked like Chase at the very end got a push from Daniel, which actually turned him sideways. You can see they're only at 180 mile an hour, so the cars aren't at full speed right now. They're not set down in the racetrack. That makes them really easy to spin. We've seen contact like this earlier in the race, but at this speed, the rear heights in the car aren't set. They're not down in the racetrack. They don't have the downforce. They're way more susceptible to spinning with that contact. Did you see some of those guys slipping through that wreck? There goes Alex LeBay from Canada. He made it through. And then just the job Spencer Gallagher did to squeeze outside through. Outside three to right front. Four looking outside with spin down low, spin both sides, spin both sides, stay middle, stay middle, stay middle, stay middle. How eventful has the day been for Ryan Truex in that 11? This will tell the tale here. So uh, it, it looks to me like from this view that Kyle Larson just didn't quite get high enough on Eric Almirola. He was trying to maybe protect the inside a little bit and the push wasn't quite as square as he needed again with the car not at, at full speed. You can see Joey Logano into the outside wall. There's Joe Nemechek in the 15, Johnny Davis car. Wow, look, the track's blocked. The chase though, it was gonna come through clear, but right at the last second, he gets hit by the 18. Look at the car trying to come off the ground. The roof flaps engaged, uses the aerodynamics to put it back down on the ground. Chase actually drives away from this in, in decent standing. 